As an experienced podcaster, it's only a matter of time before you're called on to teach what you know. But what will you teach? And is it designed to make the next generation of podcasters better? Hello and welcome to another Podcast Pontifications with me, Evo Terra. It takes a certain amount of skill to make a podcast, any podcast, really, of any format. And those are skills that require some sort of a learning process to acquire. It's not like podcasting is baked into our DNA, right? It's not genetic. So obviously, every podcaster needed at one point in time to learn how to podcast. Okay, no, not groundbreaking insight thus far, but I promise I'm going somewhere with this. So I've never taught a real podcasting class. I've, I've guest lectured a lot of times about podcasting. Some of those appearances, most of them. Uh, what I said about podcasting to the class was pretty much the only thing they learned about podcasting in the entire course that they took. Now, this wasn't a podcast-specific course, obviously, more like a marketing or communications course, something like that. More recently, I've been seeing podcasting taught as a multi-week module, if you will, that's part of a larger curriculum. And then there are also the myriad workshops and seminars and other tightly focused programs I've been asked to participate in over the last, well, 17 years it's been. Now, I'm fascinated by these formal attempts to educate the new group of podcasters. And, and by that, I mean the people who take the courses. And that's not any slight against people who sign up to take a podcasting course. I, I applaud anyone who seeks to learn a new skill, however they best need to acquire said skill. Nor am I here to cast any shade at all on anybody who teaches. Listen, I live with a professional curriculum developer. She taught in the public school system for many, many years. And even I have taught at the university level. So I understand the rigor that it takes to teach something. But no, what fascinates me about this is the mindset of the students who seek out that education and to somewhat, to a lesser degree, I suppose, how, how they choose to acquire that information. Because, see, I'm old, so everything I know about podcasting was learned on the job, making it up quite often as we went along. I guess a better way to say that is that uh, the accumulation of a wide range of skills from many different careers and disciplines and interests over the decades informed the kind of podcaster I am today. For me... And for those who came up with me in the podcasting space, podcasting is just where we wound up. I mean, I wanted to be an astronaut as a kid, not a podcaster. But here I am, talking to you instead of prepping for a mission to Mars, but whatever. But now here we are, some two decades on, and podcasting is actually a career choice for many. Hence the proliferation of classes and workshops that finally makes sense today to streamline that educational process for students who want to become professional podcasters. Classes and workshops that people like you and me, we might wind up teaching. So, what kind of educational experience would you provide if you used your skills to teach a podcasting class? So, I think a painter metaphor will best explain what I'm thinking. So there's a painting that hangs on the wall of this studio. That painting depicts a mother turtle and three of her babies crawling over the sand headed towards the surf. So never mind the fact that turtles abandon their egg clutch after they lay their eggs. This is not a biology course. This is about podcasting, please. That painting isn't going to win any awards. No, I can promise you that. But no one ever walks in here and says, what is that? Oh, right, it's a turtle. I get it now. Come on, it's not that bad. <laughs> I painted that picture back in 2019. And in case you're curious, no, I am not a painter. As a matter of fact, that might have been the first time in my entire life that I ever put brush to canvas. No, I'm not a painter. To paint that picture, I took a class. To paint that specific picture that picture. 
I didn't learn how to be a painter, but how to paint that very scene. So did every other student in the course that I took. We all painted that very same scene with varying degrees of success, with beer involved quite possibly. If you ask me to paint anything else after seeing that I have clearly painted that picture, I will tell you no. I don't even remember how, to, how I painted that picture, so I couldn't even recreate that turtle scene if I tried. So, now, contrast that to the experience of actually becoming a painter. No, not a house painter, but a painter of pictures on canvases. An arts education is vastly different than what I learned when I learned how to paint that one scene, right? I mean, a student painter, someone who is truly a student of painting, is going to learn how to work with, I don't know, oils, watercolors, charcoal sketches, and because it's 2022, probably also a variety of digital tools. They, the student of the art of painting, will be given exposure and training in a slew of different techniques and styles and mediums. And over time, what will likely happen is the student will develop their own affinity and likely gravitate towards a particular style of painting. But they've been trained on many, many others. They know how to do more than just that one thing. So if you were training the next generation of podcasters, would you teach them the equivalent of how to paint a single turtle-based scene, how to make one single type of podcast, if you will, or maybe even a single podcast episode? Or would you go deep and wide, teaching them the entirety of podcasting, including all of the various disciplines and skills that go into making content in our space? And is that something you can do? I mean, maybe you too would need to go back to school to round out your own education first. There's a lot that we, and yeah, I'll include me in this as well, might have missed as we made it up as we went along to make our podcasts. Welcome to the vast and complex world of podcasting. With that, I shall be back tomorrow with yet another podcast, Pontifications. Cheers! Thank you.